Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. I've gotten a question today about how do you import a JPEG file and then clean it up so you can use the print and cut feature. So I'm going to show you how to do that. One of our members has a particular file that she's trying to work with, so I'm going to use that same file. And what you're going to do is you'll go to your Design Space account. Go over here on the left column, make sure you're logged in where it says insert images, upload images, add text, set canvas. You want to pick upload image. And this is a JPEG. So you'll use the basic upload, which is what you'll use for JPEG, GIF, and PNG files and BMP files to be able to convert it to a cut path. So you'll go into upload image. It pops up in this screen that says select your image, clean your image, save your image. It just tells you the steps. So we're going to go step one, which we'll browse to our image on our computer, and it brings it in. This is a pretty clean image. It's got a white background, which is helpful, and the colors on here are really good. So I'm just going to do a simple image. Depending upon how more complex your images get, you can select a different type to upload, but I'm just going to do it as a simple image. Go to step two, and now my file has been imported in, and what I can do is I'm just going to click on this, and it takes away the background. Then I want to come up here, and there is an erase tool. So we're going to take the erase, because what we need to do is get rid of all these other little things besides the image that we want to cut. So there's words that label each piece of this. I guess this is a, a, a paper doll from Frozen. And uh, up here in the right hand corner, uh, left hand corner, there is a zoom button here. So I want to zoom this in so I can see it pretty good. Now I'm going to grab my erase tool and highlight that. And now, and you can change the size of your erase tool. So some of this is kind of big and some of it's small. So you, you may be changing the size of your eraser depending upon where the image is that you're trying to fix. So I'm going to just take my erase tool and come up here and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because that is a bigger image. If you mess up, you can just unclick it, which I just did. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because I don't want to mess up Anna's head up here. Now see how what I'm doing is I'm just erasing that image. Okay. So I want to get rid of all these words on here that tell me if it's a right arm or a left arm or whatever. Okay. There's a scroll bar down here so I can scroll this down and get to all these little I'm going to make my eraser just a little smaller over here not quite that small so I'm going to erase all of these little pieces here you just want the image any of these little stray pieces you want off because you don't want the Cricut machine to try to be cutting those images you don't want that so, and this, depending upon what you're doing, can be a little bit tedious, but it just takes a second, it doesn't take too long. And I want to make sure we get this, and I want to make sure I erase this part here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out so you can see the image that we had. Now, how do you know if you got this correct? Up in the right hand corner, there is a eye icon and you're going to click on that and that's going to show you your cut path okay so it this will show you where your blade's going to cut around that image when you um, use the print the print and cut feature sorry about that um, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and see if there's any more stray pieces I need to erase and I see that there's one right here that I needed to erase. Let's see if there's any others that I want to erase.
Okay. Now, the tricky part on this one is that this has a cut line that goes down to cut this, to show you where you're going to fold this shape at. And so I am actually going to erase that little line up to there. Try to not have that there. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'll do it over here. Okay. And here by her hand. Nice you can get the erase tool so small. Okay, now I'm going to look at the icon again. That's pretty good. So, still have a little bit of a spot right here. Look again. I'm going to scroll through now that I have it magnified just to see if there were any other little stray pieces I needed to pick up. Looks good to me. Okay, so here's our image. All right, she looks pretty good. And then I'm going to do continue to step three. Now, you'll notice that it shows you what it's going to look like. So it's going to cut all these pieces out. It'll print, this is going to be preserved original image within the shape recommended for printing. So you want to make sure this box is being checked. You have the option anytime you import a JPEG or a PNG file or JPEG file rather, it'll ask it'll it'll automatically default that you would want to print a JPEG. If for some reason you're bringing in a JPEG that you don't want to uh, cut, then you'll click this off. Okay. Now up here it comes in with the frozen JPEG, and I'm sure I may have some other images I'll be using. So. I want to do uh, Anna Paper Doll because I want to be able to search for this and have the right name. I'm going to add a tag here. You can put whatever you want in here. Sometimes I put, you know, what the vendor is or whatever. Um, and then you do Save Image. And now it is up in my uploaded images. I can click on this. Go into Insert Images. Take a second. Now it's on my map. I can size this as big as I want. However big I'm going to make the whole thing. You want to, you want all this to be together when you size it because you want your all your images to be relative to each other when you put your doll together. Okay. Now remember with. Uh, Cricut Design Space right now, you can only do images to certain uh, dimensions when you're doing the print and cut feature. So just remember that. Um, you cannot do an entire 8.5 by 11 sheet. You can mainly get about a 6 by 5 image, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Um, and that's just a limitation in using the print and cut at the moment, but Cricut's working on expanding it to be able to use a full 12 by 12. Um, which will be hopefully later in 2015. Um, so you'll notice here that you know that this is already a print and cut image and it's got the little printer icon here and in your layers panel is where you see this and you see that it says unflatten so that means this image was automatically flattened for us when we brought it in and now all I would have to do is just hit um, go and it would go through the whole process to do print and cut. So that's how you import a JPEG image and clean it up and get it into Design Space so you're able to uh, print it and cut it out. 
Thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will be making more Cricut Explore videos, so please uh, follow me over on YouTube at Debbie O'Neill Videos, and I will talk to you later. Bye.